Hey guys, Freddie with CJ's. You know, here at CJ's we do a ton of videos of installing and doing fast takes on oil catch cans and oil separators. And for some reason, we get a lot of negative feedback on them. People think that they don't really work or that they're snake oil and that we're just salesmen trying to sell you a part. But that's actually not the case. Today I'm gonna to show you with two of our vehicles why you need a catch can and how important they really are. So this is a 2013 Focus ST that we're currently working on and we noticed all this oil and we really wanted to show you guys this. This is the hose going to the throttle body and this car has 90,000 miles, and if you notice, there is a ton of oil in this pipe, and that is not good. This thing really needs a catch can, but that's not the end of the story. We're gonna show you one more thing on this car that shows you just how much oil this thing creates and how bad it really is. This is one of eight of the intake valves on this engine. This car only has 90,000 miles, which really isn't all that much, and it does have an oil separator from the factory, and look at all that carbon buildup. It is just completely covered in carbon, which is definitely gonna kill performance and can cause serious issues down the road. And because these are direct injection, the fuel injectors don't spray these with fuel to clean them off. So the only way to prevent all this carbon buildup is with an aftermarket oil separator like what we sell here. And now I'm gonna show you with our red truck just how much oil those things can catch. Here's another example of the oil problem with these direct injection vehicles. You can see all the oil built up on the throttle body for this Focus ST, and all this oil would just go right into the intake manifold and cover the intake valves and eventually cover it in carbon, which can seriously rob performance and cause harmful damage later down the road. It's just oil everywhere. And then when you take this throttle body off, the whole back is covered with oil too. There is just so much oil. All right, so we'll empty our smaller can first. Now keep in mind, like I said, this has been like two or 3,000 miles, not even a full oil change interval yet. And you'll see just how much these things catch in this truck. All right, so it's probably a little hard to see, but this can is just under halfway full. Fair amount of fluid for just two to 3,000 miles. Then we're gonna pour this out and fill it up from the larger can. And without this can, all of this would have gone into your engine. Nasty, disgusting stuff. But that's not it. We're gonna use this to fill up from the larger can and there's gonna be a whole lot more. And here's the larger can. It has a valve on the bottom, so we're gonna open up the valve and have it just pour it into this smaller can. It came out pretty quick and we overflowed this can, so we'll pour it out and fill it up again. Nasty, nasty stuff. But there's more. All right, let's fill it up again. I think we pretty much emptied it. I don't think there was a whole lot left in there. We got a fair amount. So there was a little bit left in there, not a whole lot, but keep in mind this was only maybe 3,000 miles worth of fluid. Not a whole lot came out that third time, but this is just to show you that these catch cans, they're not snake oil. They're a real thing. They're really gonna help out your vehicle, especially if you have an EcoBoost with direct injection. Without these, all that oil is getting in your intake manifold and coating your intake valves and the fuel injectors will not clean it off. So it's gonna build up and cause problems over time. Now, if you don't have an oil separator for your vehicle, especially if it's an EcoBoost, you really should get one. We have a huge selection here at cjponyparts.com.